Welcome. Welcome everybody to Rosary Confraternity Friday. It's just awesome to have you with us today. And for those of you that are with us for the first time and you haven't enrolled in the confraternity of the Most Holy Rosary, please go to rosarybridge.com and enroll there. And as it happens on Fridays, we actually pop over to the UK, obviously virtually, and we join Father Lawrence Liu, who is the promoter general of the rosary for the dominican order it's always wonderful to join him because we never know which altar he's going to be at at the rosary shrine it's a very unique uh, shrine in the united kingdom so before we get started though we thought because it's the holy name of jesus this month right That's yes what we're celebrating and we had uh, talked a little bit about from the book the wonders of the <laughs> holy name by father paul o'sullivan some of you may have this little book in your library we shared a little bit about that about um when you share and when you when you uh, say the name of the holy name of jesus and you can say it frequently the things that we can receive from doing that so that was great so today we want to be able to share with you this beautiful video a lyric video so wherever you are you can either sing it out loud or sing it in your heart or just close your eyes and just enter in to these few moments of this beautiful song about the holy name of jesus you are the word at the beginning one with God, the Lord Most High. Your hidden glory in creation now revealed in you, our Christ. What a beautiful name it is! What a beautiful name it is! The name Sin was great, your love was greater 
Amen. 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 And now we're going to invite our brother Mark to um, just we'll spotlight the wonderful relic of Saint Marguerite Bourgeois. And of course, this is a saint that we celebrated earlier this week. And Angelina is now going to read from under Mary's mantle. What an incredible, incredible life. The year 1653 saw the arrival of Saint Marguerite Bourgeois in Ville Marie from France. She brought with her a tremendous love for Our Lady, who had told her, Go without fear, I shall be with you. In New France, Saint Marguerite founded the Sisters of the Congregation of Notre Dame, named after Our Lady, and had a still famous chapel built, dedicating it to Our Lady of Good Help. This saint did much to foster courage, faith, and spiritual enthusiasm among the girls and the older women of the colony. Saint Marguerite Bourgeois was born in 1620 in Normandy into a strongly Catholic family. At the age of 20, while walking in a procession on the feast of Our Lady of the Rosary, <clears throat> she happened to look up at the stone figure of Our Lady on the portal of an abbey church dedicated to her. Something mysterious happened. She later described it as a moment of grace that brought such a deep change in me that I felt I was no longer the same person. She knew then that her vocation was to promote God's glory and work for the poor. In France, she failed in her attempts to join the Carmelites and the Poor Clares, and even tried unsuccessfully to found a religious order of women. After these reverses, her spiritual director advised her to imitate the missionary life of Our Lady and told her, a person can still be a true religious without a veil. She took this advice, and at the invitation of Paul de Mazenot, Marguerite left for Canada in 1653. When Ville Marie Montreal was scarcely more than a small fort, isn't that something to think about? Mm. <laughs> Calling herself, quote unquote, the family donkey, she spent herself tirelessly easing the hard lives of everyone she encountered in the settlement. Marguerite wanted to promote a spiritual reign of the Blessed Mother in the hearts of children, especially. She founded schools and recorded helper and recruited helpers, not only in the colony, but also in France, staying obedient to Bishop Laval, even though he did not understand her special kind of religious order, which was uncloistered and took only simple vows. It was only two years before her death that he finally gave her canonical approval to the congregation <laughs> that she had dedicated to Notre Dame, Our Lady. One of Marguerite's most lasting accomplishments was to build a chapel in honor of Our Lady of Good Help. In the end, the chapel became the place of pilgrimage and spiritual refreshment that St. Marguerite had envisioned. One of the very first women to join Marguerite in establishing the new congregation was Marie Barbier, whose father had built and installed the celebrated cross at the top of Mount Royal. Marie was a mystic, but also had practical common sense as do all true mystics. Slowly, Marguerite's little congregation grew with schools being established all along the St. Lawrence. When it came time to write constitutions, Marie Barbier wrote to the bishop, I beg you, Excellency, to allow us to have no constitutions other than the life of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To prospective candidates for her congregation, Marguerite would say, love simplicity humility, and poverty. We firmly resolve to abandon the principles of the world, to live in the spirit of total renunciation of self and all things earthly, to seek only the glory of God, to be entirely devoted to the instruction of young girls, to the constant practice of all good works without murmuring at the pain, trouble, and humiliation which are inseparable from these, but learning to love, to imitate the Blessed Virgin's life of simplicity and retirement in all things. Marguerite herself lived heroically. She fasted, ate little, and drank only a bit of water, every day barely quenching her thirst. 
even as she exhausted herself in physical labor. How much we can gain by little acts when they are performed purely for God's love, she wrote. He is contented, even pleased with our most trivial actions, provided they are done for his love. Marguerite Bourgeois died on January 12, 1700. A priest who knew her well wrote, if the saints were canonized, as in the past, by the voice of the people and the clergy, tomorrow we should say the mass of St. Marguerite of Canada. And as it turned out, she was canonized on October 31st, 1982 by Pope St. John Paul II. So St. Margaret Bourgeois, <laughs> we wanna ask for your intercession now before your holy relic, as we just take a moment of silence and please bring all of these intentions to Our Lady of the Cape, our Queen of Canada, Queen of Intercessors. St. Marguerite Bourgeois, pray, pray for, for us. Amen. In the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And thank you, Mark, for providing that for us today. Amazing. Good evening and welcome back to the Rosary Shrine in London. My name is Father Lawrence New and I'm the Promoter General for the Holy Rosary for the Dominican Order. Tonight on the 14th of January, the Dominican Order throughout the world is praying for our brothers of the province of Portugal and we pray then for the whole Dominican family in Portugal and Angola. May the Holy Spirit make them faithful in preaching God's word and bless our order with new vocations. As usual, we pray our rosary tonight for an end to the pandemic and for all the ill effects of the coronavirus. And as this coming Sunday is Peace Sunday, so let us also pray for peace between nations, for lasting peace with justice, and that Christ, the Prince of Peace, may turn hearts to a culture of life. And as our order prays for the province of Portugal today, our mind turns, of course, to the Shrine of Our Lady of the Rosary, at Fatima, and to the Dominican presence in Fatima. And so for our reflection today, I wanted to draw attention to the message of Fatima, which our Dominican nuns, sisters and friars in Fatima especially preach and promote. This important reflection on Fatima, which I'm about to share with you, was written by Father Thomas McGlynn, a Dominican from the USA, who published a book called Vision of Fatima. Father Thomas had a very unique experience, a unique privilege of journeying to Portugal in the 1940s, where he met and worked with Sister Lucia, Lucy as he calls her, the last surviving visionary of Our Lady of Fatima. And together with Sister Lucy, he worked to create the statue of Our Lady that now stands above the entrance to the Basilica Shrine in Fatima. During this time working with her, he asked Sister Lucia about the apparitions of Our Lady, about what she said to her, and about the importance of the Rosary, and he was able to make many important distinctions and clarifications with her. Sister Lucia replied simply that Our Lady had asked everyone, regardless of whether they were Catholic or not, to pray the Rosary always, not daily as is often reported, but always. 
Most importantly, Father Thomas McGlynn writes that the central message of Fatima is this. Fatima is, first of all, a dreadful warning to the world to stop sinning. The enormity of mankind's rebellion against God and God's infinite aversion for sin form the foundation of the Fatima message. Then he gives the sinner hope in the revelation that he will accept repentance made through the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Fatima manifests the most misunderstood of the divine attributes, justice and mercy. You have seen hell where the souls of sinners go, the Blessed Virgin said to Lucy. This is the first point of the Fatima message, that we are free, we have abused our freedom, and so we are in danger of failing eternally, and we must repent. If the emphasis in the Fatima message on the danger of hell and the necessity of penance is upsetting, there are a few considerations that may rectify our judgment. No one fully understands the gravity of sin, because it must be measured by the holiness of God, whom sin offends. To save them, the Lord wishes to establish in the world devotion to my Immaculate Heart, said Our Lady. And this sums up the second part of the, of the secret of Fatima. Divine mercy is further manifest in the revelation of the Immaculate Heart. We know now from Fatima that God wishes us to honour the heart of his mother, or let us say, to honour his mother, our co-redemptrix, through the title of her love, her Immaculate Heart. The Lord wishes to establish in the world devotion to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. We must not discuss the timeliness or convenience of devotion to the Immaculate Heart. We must strive in humble prayer to acquire it. This is substantially the message of Fatima. And the first means declared at Fatima of paying homage to the Immaculate Heart is the Rosary. It is certainly Our Lady's favorite prayer. The reason is not hard to find. The soul of the Rosary is meditation on the mysteries of our Lord's incarnation, redemptive suffering, and glorious triumph. It is her favorite prayer because it draws us to our Lord. But the triumph of the Immaculate Heart in your soul and mine, and in the soul of the man in the delicatessen, or of the woman across the way on the streetcar, or of the child in the classroom, or of the executive at his desk, does not wait for the consecration of Russia. It awaits the consecration of the individual to God in penance and in reparation through the heart of Mary. <clears throat> so at the start of 2022, let us keep this salutary goal in mind, especially as we gather together in this way to pray the rosary every Friday. And of course, if you live in London or close enough to the rosary shrine, do please come and join us every, every first Saturday for our first Saturday devotions, making reparation to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. We begin at five o'clock on the first Saturday of every month. As usual now, I shall pause just for a few moments of silence uh, to wait for a few more people to join us online for us to recollect our thoughts and to gather our intentions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Lord, open our lips, and we shall praise your name. O God, come to our aid. The Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 
the five sorrowful mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary. The first sorrowful mystery is the agony in the garden. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who have need of thy mercy. The second sorrowful mystery is the scourging at the pillar. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. <coughs> blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and to the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most needed by mercy. The third sorrowful mystery is to crowning with thorns. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. World without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most need of thy mercy. The fourth sorrowful mystery is the carrying of the cross. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in need of thy mercy. And the fifth sorrowful mystery is the crucifixion and death of our Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven especially those who are most need of thy mercy. Salve Regina, Mata Misericordiae, Vita Dolcetto, Estes Nostra Salve, Pate Clamamus, Ex Oles Filii Hebe, Ate Suspiramus, Gementes et plentes, in hunger primarum vale. Ea ego, advocata nostra, in os tuos, misericordes oculos, ad nos converte. Et Jesu, Benedictum fructum ventris tui, nobis pas hoc exilium ostende. O clemens, O pia, O dulcis 
Pray for us, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, his only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech thee, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may both imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us. And may the souls of the faithful depart, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. On behalf of the Dominican brothers and sisters here at the Rosary Shrine in London, thank you very much for joining us in prayer. I wish you a blessed and a happy weekend. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So we will continue on now with the Canada 54 novena for today. I'll just get it up on the screen for us. In the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Lady the Cape, Queen of Intercessors, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, Queen of Canada, we ask you to intercede with your Son on our behalf, that by your month of May 2022, there will be no need for mandates and other measures that separate and divide your children. May love, humility, joy, peace, and hope triumph in order that all peoples across this land may freely celebrate the 75th anniversary of the consecration of Canada to your Immaculate Heart. Additionally, we ask for your intercession that the May 1st to June 22nd, Our Lady the Cape Pilgrim Statue Tour would inspire similar devotional initiatives from coast to coast to coast, leading to a heartfelt desire by our dear bishops to reconsecrate their diocese to your Immaculate Heart, thus promoting a tangible sense of solidarity and fraternity under your mantle of protection as children of our loving and all merciful heavenly father. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Anne, pray for us. Saint Francois de Laval, pray for us. Saint Marie de l'Incarnation, pray for us. Saint Marie Marguerite de Youville, pray for us. Saint Marguerite Bourgeois, Pray for us. Saint Kateri Tekakritha. Pray for us. Saint Andre Besset. Pray for us. Saint René Goupel. Pray for us. Saint Jean de la Lande. Pray for us. Saint Antoine Daniel. Pray for us. Saint Jean de Brébeuf. Pray for us. Saint Noel Chabanel, pray for us. Saint Gabriel Lallemand, pray for us. Saint Isaac Jogues, pray for us. Saint Charles Garnier, pray for us. Blessed Catherine of Saint Augustine, pray for us. Blessed Frederick Janssen, pray for us. Blessed Marie Leone Peretti, pray for us. Blessed Dina Belanger, pray for us. Blessed Andre Grasset, pray for us. Blessed Marie Rose de Roche, pray for us. Blessed Louis Sifferin Moro, pray for us. Blessed Marie Anne Blondet, pray for us. Blessed Emily Tavernier Gamelin, pray for us. Blessed Nikita Budka, pray for us. Blessed Vasil Vajaskowski, pray for us. Blessed Marie Elizabeth Turgeon, pray for us. Saint Michael the Archangel, pray for us. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. 
graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Pray for us, Our Lady of the Cape, Queen of Intercessors, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you, everybody, for joining us today. And, of course, let's uh, think about this novena we just prayed in light of the message that Father Lawrence Liu referred to as it relates to consecration and devotion to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. So this is really the heart of what we're doing as we pray the Canada 54 Novena, because, of course, we want uh, Our Lady to travel all across um, you know, as many places as possible, and for us to be able to garner as many consecrations to her Immaculate Heart as possible, to also get as many confraternity enrollees yeah. as possible, and of course, the blessing of roses. So we really invite you to uh, uh, join us on Rosary Confraternity Sunday, this Sunday, because we have a fairly significant announcement as it relates to the Pilgrim Statue Tour. So that we hope that you will be able to join us. And just to conclude today's recording, we will pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord let his face shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord uncover his face to you and bring you peace. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God bless you, everybody. We'll see you next time Bye on the Intercessor Experience. Bye for now.